what I heard Baruch say was that sometimes it's the result of mm -hmm. this action that I'm doing today, which is, I guess, the passion. Or did I get that correctly? Is that yeah? I want to see. I want result. Yeah. Okay. So that. So, but I want to tag on to that as well. Is that what I heard you saying, Abram? Is that sometimes that passion is also that driving force, if you will, um, for either for the meaning or for finding the meaning or for what I like to call developing that meaning. The meaning is ongoing. It's, it, it you know, it's never, it's never stagnant. Like what Tracy was saying earlier that otherwise she'll just be bored. I think, I think meaning is still this kind of like rolling. Cause like for me, purpose is like the bigger, the bigger picture and it's the overall and there's no one purpose, I guess. Um, but the passion is is that ongoing, that that burning fire under that flame, if you will. Is that if that makes sense to you? So that yeah, if you yeah. could tie all that together, um, and this would be our final question, really. You know, can our purpose? Uh, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> can our purpose be our livelihood, or our passion be our livelihood? Ah, oh, this is a beautiful. This is a beautiful question, and I and I love it. It, it kind of comes full circle for me because I see like. You know, passion between pat. I feel like maybe the anchor between passion and purpose is. Um, I, have, I have the word. It's like the, the anchor between passion and purpose is is our values, mm -hmm. and wow. and I think and, kind of, and I love your example of the dishes because it's really, and this is uh, something I'm distinguishing for myself. You know, is between I don't believe shared values is. I think that I, there's a lot of people say shared value. It's about shared values. And I think that's only a part of the equation. And I think it's resonant values. And I think what you're speaking mm -hmm. about the dishes, you know, then this is where relationships, like I think Aristotle said, there's three types of relationships. One's built from pleasure. One's built from um, utility and one's built from uh, like merit and virtue. And, you know, and I think having, rela and having relationships from merit and virtue are, are the relationships that last lifetimes. And mm -hmm. I think, where that comes from, you know, because the people are in different places between passion and purpose, which have nothing to do with having a shared value. And, but I think that's where the, re the and I use the word resonance of, of values. It's like, it, it, because that. resonance is, you know, using the example of music, if I hit, the, I might hit a C note, you might hear a G, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, you might hear the, the harmony of it, and it's not necessarily the same note. And just like an example of like the, the, the Baroque, saying it's like the, like the dishes so maybe your value in that moment is your is your family's well-being and and your your wife's happiness and for her maybe it's having a clean um a, a queen integral home and it's not the same value but there's a resonance and a mm. and a merit mm -hmm. and a virtue in it that you know because so it's like and i feel like this is how community works in general is like when we are sharing authentically you know our purpose and our passion you know, from a place of values, someone might hear the, the same, exact same value, but I say more often they hear a resonant value. And, wow. and that's where relationship can exist is when we, when we find and listen for those, re the, the resonance, you know, when, when people, when we can meet people that we've never met or people that we've, you know, people that we know very well, or people we've never met, we can listen for resonant values and come from a place of alignment rather than a place of agreement, you know, right and wrong, good, bad, you know, and it is alignment. It is a, a space of resonant values that I feel like the most true relationship, the most true purpose and passion is built off of. Wow. Wow.